So I like denim jackets. Like I, I really like denim jackets. I like denim jackets a little bit more than I like jeans, if I'm perfectly honest. And I like them probably a little more than is reasonable. Actually, if I'm honest with myself and I'm honest with you, I like them a lot more than is reasonable. But denim jackets, they all have two big drawbacks. They are shit in the winter and they take forever to fade. Luckily, Benzite like denim developers, well, they just solved those two issues. And they've solved these problems with this. This is the Benzite denim developers BDG04 Rider Jacket. Sherpa Rider Jacket. Sherpa Rider Jacket in a 14 ounce recycled super fade denim. So Sherpa, so it's gonna keep you nice and cozy. Super fade, cause you're gonna get fades super fast. Okay, so honestly, it's the next day now, so slight outfit change. You see, it was getting dark, and I always think it's better, you can see denim better in daylight, but then I'd actually forgotten that it's October, end of October, in Berlin, and daylight is just a, it's a purely hypothetical concept. But let's get into the review. Although, I'm not even sure I can really call it a review, because... Well, especially with something like denim, you've got to be in it for like a few days, a few weeks, a few months to really get like a, a balanced idea of the item. But I also can't really call this like a first impressions video either because I'll be honest, I've been lusting after this jacket ever since I saw it, what, a year ago or something when Len was showing it at one of the trade shows. So yeah, let's call this a review of my first impressions. Benzac has got two denim jackets in the lineup at the moment. They've got the Cowboy, which is their first design, and then they've got the Rider. And this is a variation of the Rider. So you've got the, the two chest pockets here, the two flat chest pockets, and then you've got two hand warmer pockets as well. For me, this, this style kind of, it harks back to the Wranglers of the 70s and 80s. So yeah, the, these, these two hand warmer pockets here that just sort of curve nicely down towards the waistband, that's very, very much like the Wranglers, and really it references that. But interestingly enough, it also, with the, with the curve of these chest pockets, it also references their cowboy jacket, which is just, it's a nice touch that just nice and neatly ties the brand together, ties the pieces of the brand together. Now the Sherpa version of the Rider, it varies in, in one way to, to the regular unlined version. Actually, it varies in two ways if you think that this is lined with Sherpa. But anyway, so the, the regular unlined version it's got one flat pocket on the right, I believe, and on the left-hand side, you've got an internal pocket. It's mirrored, but it just doesn't have the flap on the outside. But, I mean, this makes sense. I mean, purely from a practical point of view, I'm guessing it's a bit more difficult to get a, an internal pocket onto a Sherpa line jacket. And then secondly, and an even more practical level, actually, this is a winter jacket, so you're gonna have it buttoned up most of the time. So you don't want to be sort of in the middle of winter, maybe you've got gloves on, faffing around trying to unbutton to get to whatever it is you might have in your pocket. And also, I mean, this is just a personal preference as well. I find having the, the two flat pockets a more balanced design, but yeah, that, that's just me. The chest pockets are a good practical size in that, yeah, you can keep your keys or pack smokes or whatever in them, but they're not so deep that you can't, you, you're having trouble reaching into them and getting whatever's at the bottom. Now down to the hand warmer pockets. Now, if I'm honest, if I'm getting a denim jacket these days, it has to, like has to, has to, has to have hand warmer pockets. They're just, they're too practical not to have. And on this jacket, they're perfectly placed. They're a good size. And with, with this curve that's coming down towards the waistband, if you're like me and you've always got loose change in your pockets, then there's less likelihood of this falling out. That's just a practicality of day-to-day -day life. The buttons that Benzac have used in this jacket, they are the, the matte black version of the Benzac denim developer's buttons. I think they're the same ones that I've got on my, on my jeans, the Benzac jeans I have. And if they are, that's quite cool because it means that this matte black coating over time is gonna, it's gonna chip off, it's gonna, it's gonna patina. And that, that's nice because it, it patinas along with the jacket fading. And this is just one of the design decisions 
There's a few design decisions in this jacket that shows that there's been some considerable thought made to how this is going to fade and the fact that it is a jacket that's made to fade fast. There's two thread colors used throughout the jacket. There's this quite traditional main color, which is tobacco. And then there's this blue, which it's a, it's a tonal color. It's a quite, quite indigo. And that picks out like the finer details, like the, the hand over pockets, uh, all of the buttonholes, and then the logo as well. Now, the tobacco thread, it does look quite stark against this really sort of deep, dark indigo denim. But as the jacket fades down, which is going too quickly, these two tones, it's going to, the, the appearance is going to become less stark, obviously, because the contrast is going to be less strong. And this is just a, another of these really nice touches that it's had some forward thinking, it's had some forward planning in the design decision stages to how this is going to look when it's worn down, when it's worn in, when it's faded. Now, picked out in that, um, in that blue thread is this Bullhead logo. Now, this Bullhead logo, it's, it comes from some creepy skull that Len's got lying around in his office. And it's depicted in his jeans with the, with the sort of bullhorn accurates that go across the pockets. And I'm just wondering, I don't, don't know if this, if this thread will actually fade down or if it's going to hold its colour. If it holds its colour, it's going to really nicely pop as the rest of the denim fades down. Onto the back, and here we see another one of these design elements, design decisions, that are really going to, going to pop when the fade process gets going. The centre seam that's running down the back here. Now, you know when you see like a really well-worn, well-faded pair of jeans? They've got, these, they've, got, they've got this fade down the outside of the leg. It's called train tracks. And that's exactly what's going to happen. You're going to get these train tracks that's going to be running down the back of this jacket. And that's just it's a very, very cool fade to have. On the, on the online version of the rider, they've got the same element, but you can see the salvage ID running down the inside of the jacket. Obviously here, the Sherpa line is covering it, but you're going to see this popping out pretty fast. I mean, I'm always wearing a rucksack, so that means that I'm pretty sure this is one of the first parts that's really going to start to show the fades. Down here at the waistband, we've got the waist adjusters. Standard, solid, and I'm actually going to bring them in because for one thing, I want to bring in the waist a little bit. And the next thing, I want these creases that are going to like happen when you gather in the fabric a little bit, just as, as another point that's going to fade. Down to the cuffs. Now, the cuffs are a single button closure. And the, you can see here that the buttonholes, they're really completely solidly done in the same blue thread as on the logo and the, the hand warmer pockets. And if we just flip the cuffs up for a second, you can see that the, the Sherpa lining, it runs all the way down the sleeve. It's not just the body that's lined. When we open up the jacket, you're going to see the only instance of the Selvage ID that you'll find on the jacket. It's got orange on one side and it's got blue on the other side. The orange, that represents the Netherlands where Benzac is based. And the blue, or Azzurro, I'm probably butchering that, but the blue, Azzurro, that represents Italy, it represents Candiani. And the Candiani is the, the denim mill that developed and produced this denim. For sure, we've got the Sherpa lining. I mean, it's in the name, right? So, yeah, we've got that throughout the jacket, and as I said, down the sleeves as well. It's super soft, super cozy, and that's taking care of the problem with denim jackets not being warm enough for the winter time. I, I think it's 100% cotton, but let's check. Okay, so it is 50% cotton, 50% polyester. I guess that's going to add to the durability, but whatever, it's 100% warm. Down at the bottom here, we've got this red tab or red label. Don't sue them, Levi's. Anyway, this red label says special number three. And that's referring to the fact that this is the third proprietary denim that Benzac has developed. The first one was with Collect Mills over in Japan. And the second one, and then this third one, it was developed with Candy Any Mills in Italy, hence the, the blue in the Selvage ID. To be honest, special is actually the right word to use for this denim. It's a, it's a 14 ounce right hand twill indigo dyed fabric, but the denim itself is made up of, let me get this right, is 81% BCI, that's Better Cotton Initiative cotton fibers. And then the remaining 19% is made up of recycled fibers. And I believe these recycled fibers come from like fabric scraps that are left over after the cutting process. So this really is, it's a very sustainable denim. And then there's the super fade bit. Now, I don't know what kind of indigo alchemy candy have been pulling down there, but this denim is just made to fade. 
Now, Len was wearing a pair of these jeans, like a sample pair of these jeans, for five months before he released the jeans in the jacket, just so he had an example to show his customers of the potential of these faded jeans. And yeah, Len won't mind me saying this, but he's not exactly active. What I mean by that is he's not doing like hard day labor on a building site. He is an office body like the rest of us. So to get these kind of fades in such a short time, that is really quite impressive. So as I mentioned, this is the Sherpa version of the, the Rider jacket. And that is, it's a contemporary silhouette when you compare it to the likes of the, the old school denim jackets like the, like the Levi's Type 1 or 2 or, or the Lee Rider. So it's a little bit slimmer in the body, it's a little bit longer as well, and it's narrow through the arms as well. And to be honest, nowadays that's just, that's just practical. The Sherpa lining, it does add a little bit of bulk to, to the body. And on the Benzac website, it mentions that if you want to layer this with a hoodie or a sweatshirt underneath, that it might be a good idea to, to size up from your regular Benzac top size. Now, I don't feel like I needed to. I mean, this is a large, and I am a large in all Benzac tops. And I still have, I've still got enough room to move. It doesn't feel overly tight and the buttons aren't popping under the strain. But that's a personal preference. I mean, I, I like my, my denim jackets a, a little more fitted. I like them fitting more like a shirt rather than like a jacket. And I must admit, if I was going to wear anything bulkier than a hoodie under this, yeah, I probably would need to, need to size up. I mean, I'm just not into that oversized aesthetic that's going on just now. But I will say that if you are leaning towards that, then, then this could be a very, very good option because the Sherpa lining it adds a little bit more, more bulk and then the, the rigid denim it also gives it a little bit more substance, it gives it a little bit more, more body. So it's not just like hanging off you. It, it, it fits much more like the old kind of like Carhartt workwear like hip hop thing from the 90s rather than like skinny scary models with dead shark eyes wearing their dad's clothes. I suspect this is going to be the most versatile denim jacket that I own simply because I'm going to be able to wear it throughout most of the year. It's going to take me from early autumn through to early winter, and then it's going to take me from the start of spring to the start of summer. That just means I'm going to get a lot of wear days in it. And from that, I'm hoping to get some super fades out of this super fade denim. So if this is something you're into, and this is something that you, you maybe want to pick up, I've put a link down below in the description to the Benzac website where you can pick up this jacket, you can also pick up a pair of jeans in exactly the same denim. And there's just, there's a wide variety of everything aside as well. So hop in there and have a look. It's actually, it's really, really worth it. Also down below in the description, there's the links to our social media and all that other good stuff. Uh, guys, if you've enjoyed this, if you've been into this, then please consider subscribing. And if you could hit that thumbs up button as well, that's awesome. It really does help us grow the channel. And yeah, if you want to know when I drop a video, there's also that bell notification icon. You can just click on that. So one final thing, and certainly not the least of things. I don't know wherever you are in the world, but certainly where I am. And I think overall things are getting, it's getting a little bit more serious. It's getting a little bit more crazy out there. So guys, please take care of yourself, certainly, but make sure you're taking care of each other. And I'm going to see you in the next vlog.